Elon Musk told Twitter staff to work for 80 hour a week. In his first message to Twitter Incorporated employees after purchasing the firm for $44 billion in October, new Twitter owner Elon Musk hinted that the company might not be able to continue operating in the future. Bloomberg cites people familiar with the situation as saying that Musk stated that bankruptcy was a possibility for the company if it does not start earning more cash. According to Bloomberg, Elon Musk offered a series of dire warnings at a talk on Thursday to the workers on Twitter. One of these cautions included an expectation of working 80-hour work weeks. Hello everyone, and welcome to our another video. In today's video, we are going to discuss how Elon Musk told Twitter staff to work for 80-hour a week. Stay tuned to find out. So, let's start our video. In an email that was delivered to employees at 2.39 in the morning, Twitter's new owner said earlier that the company's work-from-home policy would be changed. Musk said, everyone is required to be in the office for a minimum of 40 hours per week, unless they were physically unable to travel to an office. Musk's minimum demand might more than quadruple, given his latest statement. According to CNBC, certain bosses at Twitter instructed their employees to work 84-hour weeks, which would be equivalent to working 12-hour shifts, seven days a week, as they were working on the contentious new $8 verification function. Musk himself is now laying down these stringent expectations, and he has also emphasized that there would be fewer benefits like free meals available in the office. In the same address, he warned that the company would eventually fail if Twitter did not begin generating significantly more revenue. The federal legislation of the United States mandates that an employee must be paid an additional 50% for any overtime hours worked in excess of 40 hours per week. According to the transcript of Musk's Q&A and interviews with employees that were published on The Verge, Musk instructed his staff to work with a crazy sense of urgency. He also referred to his management of Tesla and SpaceX, explaining that a small number of exceptional people can be highly motivated and can do better than a large number of people who are pretty good and moderately motivated. In the past, some of the SpaceX workforces have pulled all-nighters and work weeks of 60 hours have been considered part-time. Despite the fact that Musk himself slept on the manufacturing floor, the company has been punished for a number of safety infractions. Musk continued by saying that there was a very high urgency for people to subscribe to Twitter Blue because advertising revenue could suffer during a recession. The subscription gives users the ability to buy a blue tick, which has led to the creation of a large number of fake profiles pretending to be businesses and celebrities. Before Musk killed it, Twitter had an official tag that distinguished some legitimate accounts from troll accounts. Since then, however, Twitter has reinstated the feature. On Thursday, Elon Musk had his first company-wide meeting since seizing leadership of the massive social media platform around two weeks ago. The event took place at Twitter's headquarters in San Francisco and included all staff members. Following his acquisition of Twitter in a deal worth $44 billion, Elon Musk has reorganized the company's top leadership, including the firing of CEO Parag Agrawal, and has let go of approximately 3,700 employees. He has also requested that the remaining members of the team return to the office full-time, thereby reversing Twitter's policy of allowing employees to work from home permanently, which was implemented approximately two years ago during the pandemic. During the meeting on Thursday, the tech billionaire and new owner of Twitter fielded questions from Twitter employees. This meeting took place just hours after the tech billionaire sent an email to the entire company warning staff of tough times ahead and asking them to put in 40 hours of work in the office. During the meeting, he again warned the staff that difficult times were ahead and told them to get ready for 80-hour work weeks. According to Bloomberg, Musk also warned his employees that they should anticipate receiving fewer privileges in the future, including free food. According to a report by Business Insider, the majority of the queries that were asked during the meeting focused on the most recent round of layoffs. However, one worker inquired as to why Musk stopped allowing remote work. A person who was present at the meeting was quoted by Business Insider as saying that Elon Musk appeared visibly annoyed at the question and shut her down by saying that this was just the way the company would operate going forward. The statement was made by Elon Musk in response to the question. Another worker questioned Musk about his strategy for addressing employee turnover. I don't know how to answer that, but I can tell you it's about being hardcore, Musk said. A small number of exceptional people who are highly motivated can do better than a smaller group of high achievers with moderate motivations. 
If you can't perform hardcore, then Twitter is not for you. On Thursday, Elon Musk's ownership of Twitter slid even further into chaos when top security professionals quit their positions on the platform, prompting stern warnings from US regulators. US media stated that Yoel Roth, the site's head of trust and safety, resigned just one day after vehemently defending Musk's content filtering policies to advertisers. This was the most extraordinary departure from the company that has ever been recorded. In the meanwhile, Musk's decision to cease remote work was not totally surprising considering that he has previously issued similar diktats at both Tesla and SpaceX. That's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how was today's video. I hope that you find this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the following video with some more notable celebrities facts and stories, and until then, stay tuned.